Green Man Gaming offers cheap prices for great games on PC and PlayStation 4. Find out more using the link in the description below. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is a very different subject from your other videos. What the heck is happening to you, man? Look, I know. It's very different, but... This video is kind of special. You could say that it was... Secret. That's right. This is my secret project that I've been working on for the past month. It's gonna be... About Super Smash Brothers. So, I asked the Smash Bros subreddit if they would like a retrospective on Smash 4 as kind of a send-off since Ultimate is coming next month. They said it would be a cool idea. Here we are today. Let's talk about Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Okay, we're just gonna say Smash 4 for simplicity's sake. Smash 4 released on the 3DS in North America on October 3rd, 2014. The Wii U version released in the US on November 21st, 2014. However, the release dates worldwide were slightly different depending on your country. For the 3DS version, it was released in Japan on September 13th, 2014. In Germany, it was released a day earlier than North America, October 2nd, to avoid coinciding with German Unity Day, the country's national holiday celebrating its reunification in 1990. Australia got the game a day later than us simply because of time zone differences. Getting into drastic time gaps, Hong Kong and Taiwan got the game over 10 months later on July 24th, 2015, and South Korea nearly two months after that on September 10th, 2015. Meanwhile, the Wii U version, the release dates were pretty close to each other. North America, like, like I said before, got it on the tw November 21st, 2014, Europe a week after that, Australia the day after that, and Japan on December 6th. Whew! That's a lot. We're just getting started, my Smash Bros. At the time, this was the biggest release of Super Smash Bros. in series history. On release, there were 58 characters out of the box, with 7 being downloadable fighters. Compared to Super Smash Bros. Brawl's 37 fighters, this was massive. And this was the first game to ever have downloadable content, let alone downloadable fighters. Seems kind of small compared to the now 77 fighters we have in Ultimate, counting Echoes of course, with more characters on the way as DLC. As far as stages go, there were 42 in the 3DS version, with 8 of those being DLC and 7 being unlockable. In the Wii U version, there were 55 stages, with 6 being unlockable and 9 being DLC. Between these two games, only 13 were consistent with the two versions. New to this game were Omega stages, which converted every stage into a Final Destination style where there was just one big platform and no obstacles or stage hazards. What really set these versions apart were the exclusive modes. In the 3DS version, we got a mode called Smash Run, as you can see on the newly upgraded JPEGotron. It has fancy little dials, so... Well, I mean, they don't really do anything, but whatever. Anyway, Smash Run. This mode consists of you and three other players, or CPUs, traversing in a decently sized dungeon area, collecting power-ups to boost your stats along the way. Each player has five minutes to do so, meaning you have to work fast. At the end of the dungeon crawling, you have to fight with your boosted stats. In the April 2014 Smash Bros. Direct, Sakurai said that this mode took inspiration from Kirby's Air Ride City Trial Mode. The 3DS version also had Street Smash, a little known fact is that the Wii U actually also had this feature, however so few people owned Wii U's that the odds of two of them encountering each other were astronomically low. One of the biggest selling points of the Wii U version was 8 player smash. When selected, 8 player smash lets you and 7 of your closest friends, or CPUs if you're lonely like me, duke it out. However, for the sake of system resources, not all stages were made available for 8 player smash. Although, this was made more fun with the use of Special Smash, which allowed you to set a variety of options. My personal favorite combo was having clear, heavy characters with the bunny hood and constantly breathing fire. And you, you can make amazing stuff like this happen. It's amazing. That guy is Jesus. Another Wii U exclusive mode was Smash Tour. Wait, don't click out of the video. I know it's almost universally hated, 
but at least let me talk about what it was, you know, for the sake of coverage, okay? We good? Alright. So, Smash Tour involves moving around a game board with your me collecting power-ups and trophies that changed how the game worked. Sometimes a fighter would spawn on the board, and your goal is to collect as many of them as possible, because those are your lives. Each party you pick up is a stock in a final match, where you play with the fighters you found. I personally am the 1% that liked this mode. I thought it was fun. One of the biggest problems people had were that it was too chaotic, which I can definitely understand. I mean, look at the gameplay on this thing. That kind of looks like a Mario Party ripoff. As you can see, the game was both massive in its content and positive influence. Another thing that was massive about the game was its influence on the fighting game community. Ever since Melee, the second game in the series, people have been playing the Smash Bros. series in large tournaments, including the annual EVO event among others. This video was more of a history about the game itself rather than its competitive influence. If you want to read about how the game conquered the competitive scene in its time on the market, I'll have a link down below to a Smash Wiki page all about it. So we have one of the best Super Smash Bros. games ever. How could we possibly top this game with all the content it has? Yep, you saw this coming. With Super Smash Bros. Ultimate being on the horizon, it's been the reason for the dwindling interest in Smash 4. And with absolutely all the fan service being playable as fighters, it's clear to see that Smash 4 just might fizzle out of existence in favor of Smash Ultimate. Yep, pretty much every fighter we want is in the game. No important and or underrepresented characters missing from this all-star roster. Get that off the JPEG, Otron. I said nobody's missing. Another big deal regarding the slowing success of Smash 4 was the lack of a story mode in the Wii U version. However, it wasn't always this way. According to a Kotaku article from 2013, shortly after the initial E3 trailers were released, Sakurai stated that there would be a single-player story mode in the game, although it would be very different from the subspace emissary from Brawl in that there would be no cutscenes to Sakurai not wanting cutscenes uploaded to the internet. He later recanted this response and chose to cut story mode altogether. I sincerely hope that story mode returns as it was my favorite part of Brawl. And that part of the script is outdated because now we have, you know, the whole World of Light thing, so I'm excited to play that. With Ultimate on the rise, I think it's safe to say that this will be the biggest and most ambitious game in the series. But let's remember what game brought us to this point. That game being Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, a remarkable creation thanks to Masahiro Sakurai. We have third party representation, a bunch of modes, and without the freedom that we have with Smash 4's fighters, we probably wouldn't even have half the characters we have in this game now. Thanks for watching this video. I know it was a different topic from my other videos, but I hope it was still just as entertaining. Before I sign off, there's a few people that I want to thank. I first want to thank r slash smash bros for sending suggestions for this video to me and also encouraging me to follow through with the project. I also want to thank smash wiki for providing the information I needed to write the script as well as showing me facts that I didn't know about the game before. Like did you know that the ice climbers weren't in smash 4 because they were hard to program in the 3ds version? Actually, wait, you all probably knew that. Uh. Lastly, I want to thank former professional Smash 4 player Nairo MK for inspiring me to make this video. If you want to see his send-off video that he made that inspired my project, there will be an eye icon in the top right corner of the screen. If you want to see me and chat with me when I'm live, there is a link to my Twitch channel in the description below with my other social media, so be sure to drop a follow. I encourage you to subscribe for more of my content with notifications on. And the little bell down there. Yeah, ring that. Plus, why wouldn't you sub? The finale to my Dead MMO series is on the way. Although that video is probably going to take a bit longer to make, because the script is like four pages right now, and I'm not even close to done. So, look forward to that. See you later. Hey guys, Editor Mike here. I just wanted to make an announcement at the end of this video, but I forgot to do it when I was recording the video, so I'm doing it now. Anyway. I'm going to be attending PAX East, 
in Boston, Massachusetts on Saturday, March 30th, 2019. So if you want to say hi to me, go ahead. I'm very approachable. And also, I'm currently talking with Origin PC to see if I can stream from one of their streaming pods. So if you want to know more details about that when I get them, follow me on Twitter.